How do you raise enough money to throw an annual UTV party? Simple. Throw a party. Today on At Your Leisure, we will ride with UTV Utah trying to establish an annual event in Tooele County. Then, Restein says that this ribbon cutting is for the birds, in a good way, at the Eccles Wildlife Education Center. And Reagan is taking Matt to the mat as they compete on the Camp Chef Pizza Cook-Off. AYL is next. Hey, this is so much fun, it ought to be a party. Hi, welcome to At Your Leisure Today, I'm Chad Booth. As a matter of fact, it is a party, it's one to raise money to make it an annual event. That's what we're about today as we are traveling the road between Jacob City and Ophir in the Ochre Mountains. Let's find out a little bit about this unique ride and some of the fun history that sits behind it. Rides like today uh, are very important uh, to allow people to go ahead and enjoy nature and those type of areas. Uh, one of the goals we've had here in Tool is to try to have one of the largest trail systems in the state. I think you have a great opportunity. The, the Prospector Trails uh, out by Vernon, I think there's over 700 miles of trails out there to ride out. People don't realize it goes all the way down to the sand dunes and comes all the way up to the Utah and the county and Tool of Texas, pretty large area. You can have challenging areas to ride, uh, which Today, as you go up into the Jacob City area, come down Chandler, which is very challenging. Uh, but then you can also come down uh, other roads out of Jacob City where it's a little bit more safer. It doesn't matter what turn you take across the old mining trails of the Ochre Mountains. Young and old alike will not have to go far until their UTV journey finds plenty of tall trees awash in the fiery colors of fall or a few tall tales of the trail from trail legend Nolan Stedman, whose family has been selling and telling about Tooele County for generations. We have trails that are for hiking, biking, equestrian, non-motorized, motorized. So we, we try to reach out to all uh, those who use the trail system and have something available for everyone. Now, whether you like to go it alone down a long stretch of country trail with no one else in sight, or caravan with your best buddies trying to see who can get their rig the dirtiest, autumn days and mountain trails will make you feel alive. You can follow the sign to adventure if you have a whole day or just a couple of hours. The extensive trails of Tooele County stretching from Five Mile Pass to Knowles, from mountain trails to fast desert stretches, are even accessible from your driveway in the Salt Lake Valley if you have a street legal rig and you can find Butterfield Canyon. That way, you don't even need to crack out the trailer. Well, any time is a good time to ride, an event like this one gives you a chance to brag about your paint job or compare notes with the next guy. As you can see, when you get together with your friends, the possibilities are endless out here in the Ochre Mountains. But we'll continue with our UTV Utah ride to raise funds for an annual Tooele County ride. But right now we're gonna to go to our travel adventure which also involves UTV Utah, Utah's largest group of side-by-side -side riders as they got together and did a ride in the Wasatch Mountains to help the victims of the Dollar Ridge Fire. On July 1st, 2018, the Dollar Ridge Fire began to burn its way across the Strawberry Pinnacles. Within six days, it exploded into 42,000 acres and ended up destroying almost 69,000 acres of land, just to the east of Strawberry Reservoir. Before the fire could even be contained, the rains came, flooding roads, trails, and structures. In some places, it even changed the course of the river itself, rendering several bridges useless. This area, once a treasure of snowmobile and ATV trails, summer homes, and cabins, now all lost most of them without adequate insurance. The UTV enthusiast group, UTV Utah, Eastern Utah broadcasters, KVEL Radio, cable channel VTV6 in Vernal, along with AYL, put together a series of events with the aim to raise as much money as they could to help those affected by the fire. So what they're doing is they're getting together for the Dollar Ridge fire and they're getting support together and UTV's done this a couple times, UTV 
guys. And basically getting folks together to get us together to make a community understand that the importance of off-roading and what we all need to do to stick together to keep our roads and our designations open. Riding out of Heber City, the group headed out, chasing the sun and bound for twilight. We left out of uh, Heber at the Carmel and Polaris and coming up over uh, the Wasatch and through some of the trails here. I think we're at Temple Fork. Being a little dusty, it's uh, probably the biggest ride I've been on. It's a lot of fun and it's beautiful out. The leaves are changing right now. It's gorgeous. So far, it's been a lot of fun. It's amazing how tall it, the mountains were that we went up. I mean, it was a long ways down into looking back into Heber City. I've never been on this trail before and just, I want to come back. Being out here with a bunch of like-minded people, uh, family, seeing all the different uh, UTVs and, and just being out here in the mountains. Over 100 people lined up and hit the gas in a parade of support for the victims of Dollar Ridge. I like the group aspect and it's fun when we get to take a break like this and talk. It's fun. I've never done an event this big. There's so many people here. Uh, it's awesome. They're doing a great job keeping everybody in line and together. Uh, usually I've been in small groups with uh, our Jeep clubs and you know usually have eight to ten people. Heading out, it's going to get a little dark in a little bit. We'll do a little bit of night ride and then head back for some uh, snacks and everything. The return trip cast a different hue on the ride as the headlights pierced the indigo of a Saturday night. Well, anything to don't you know to yeah, help other people that's in need is, is what we like to do. Any fire is important, but that's an area that we also snowmobile in and stuff like that. And so they need the support. And you look at the fires down by Strawberry and everything, and our state needs a lot of support. So it's good to help everybody, and it's kind of that pay forward thing. So we might be helping them this time, they might be down in our area helping us next time when we have a big fire. The UTV event contributed over $1,900 towards the $50,000 overall goal of the fundraising coalition, almost closing the gap to the goal. UTV Utah is still in the fight, and you can help by going to their website, utvutah.com, to make a donation. For At Your Leisure, I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Now let's get back to my cute and cuddly husband to find out more about UTV Utah's hijinks in Towilla County. 30 bucks a piece, right? Yes, sir. Emptied out my piggy bank for this. Well, we're just about ready to start with some live entertainment on the stage over there. Carver Lewis will be performing uh, for a couple hours here with us, and then we're going to have a beautiful dinner that's prepared for us for a caterer. And then f finale of the evening will be uh, we'll have some drawings and raffle off several different prizes. And the final thing will be the lucky person who wins the razor. So. This one's for you. Take it. The Utah Farm Bureau began as a collection of farmers supporting each other to raise the food we enjoy. Today, Farm Bureau membership encompasses everyone, whether ranchers, growers, or just everyday folks like you and me. Members enjoy discounts on items like vehicles and ATVs, or insurance that's very affordable. You don't have to be a farmer to join, and dues are small, but together we make a big difference in keeping our food supply local and abundant. Join Utah Farm Bureau. Halloween hunt starts 
September 15th to October 15th. Winners get dinner with cast and crew at Archibald's in Gardner Village and be a part of the Halloween episode at Corn Bellies at Thanksgiving Point. Filming and dinner is Monday, October 22nd. Check Facebook for how to play. We'll see you on the Halloween episode. <laughs> Introducing the 2019 Ski-Doo Trail and Crossover Sleds. With unparalleled power, agility, and precision, get ready to experience that ski doo feeling on every wide open straightaway and tight corner. The Ski Doo sales event is on now. Visit your local dealer for details. We are in the wild outdoors and we're doing one of my favorite things. We're making pizza today, but we're doing it outside. We have Matt here from Camp Chef and I really do. Pizza's my very favorite thing. Mine too. But I usually make it like in the oven or, you know, I just kind of do the makeshift, right. it, sometimes even in the microwave. Uh -huh. This is an outdoor contraption that we can throw it in and make really awesome pizza. Yeah, exactly. This is one of our newer products as well, um, the Italia Artisan Pizza Oven. Fantastic, we designed it with uh, one of our artisan pizza makers in Logan there, Jack's Pizza. All right, Matt, are you an expert at this? I'm um, ready. I'm trying to be. Okay, because okay, so you said you've been cooking lately. Yeah, I've been You're more and more. cooking pizza and learning. We're just gonna stretch these out to about 10 to 12 inch rounds. Okay. We're gonna have a little competition here. Okay, I like so, it, good right. healthy competition. So what are you gonna make? I wanna do the margarita. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I mean, you don't have crushed tomatoes or anything, but I mean, I'll do it with the sauce. You can, you can do it <laughs> okay. with that. You can what are you gonna make? I'm gonna just do a uh, classic cheese bread. Somewhere. And so I just, just spread it around. I mean, this is just make your own, whatever you yep. wanna do, right? Whatever you like it. Okay. Do you like a lot of sauce or a little sauce? Um, medium? Yeah, medium. This is fun. I've got Parmesan, mozzarella, and smoked cheddar for my cheese bread. Okay. Oh, look at how good this looks. The thing that's really fun about this too, Matt, I think, and you don't have kids yet, but um, the kids like to make their own pizza, so you can kind of get it ready. They do. And if you're out camping, you can get the kids excited. So yep. I'm just going to put a little bit of the fresh mozzarella in here too. <laughs> Great. So we're going to go ahead and uh, slide these right into the oven and bake them. They'll bake in about seven minutes. It's about 500 degrees in okay. that oven right now. And that's what you want it at, about yeah, 500. Yeah, five, 550, and uh, it cooks real quick. Okay, so this is really an amazing oven. How do you get this? And yeah. You can use it for more than pizza too, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. You can do cedar plank salmon. Um, we've done that. We've done cinnamon rolls. Um, Ooh. I mean, a lot of things that you can bake in it, basically. Log on to www.campchef.com um, for more information about the Italia Artisan Pizza Oven. Okay, I'm super excited. They yeah. look beautiful, and that you was only a few it? minutes. It smells good, yeah, too. Yeah, it smells really good. Yeah, it, it goes quick. And you know, if you're not into artisan pizza making your own homemade, you can even do uh, frozen pizzas. I think we should go cut these open and dig in. Yeah, let's do it. Don't you? Yeah, absolutely. All right, yep. should we try this puppy out? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, you have to get one with the basil on it. Oh yeah. Okay. Mmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> Is that you think? That's really good. All right, let me I think you sure. destroyed me. I'm not even. I'm not it's not even gonna be a competition. Really, really good. Just, just go ahead and swallow. You know what? Thanks. Sometimes people don't like the sauce, and this is your other option, right? <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yeah. Well, I had fun doing this. Beautiful. Awesome. Campchef.com. You You're wonderful. Thanks. More at your leisure ahead. We're gonna head to the pizza. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high. The stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with the Ute reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. and boasting next-level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha.
crisp, colorful, a world in transition. You don't have to travel the back roads of Maine to explore autumn in all of its glory. Beaver County offers fall in unique splendor, with drives along forgotten canyons and hikes through meadows exploding with vibrant hues of red and yellow. Hit the road with your family and discover a side of Beaver County you never knew you were missing. Autumn is fleeting, so don't hesitate. Beaver County, it's time to experience the real Utah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're out here in Tooele County on a fundraising ride to uh, help generate funds for trail activities and the trail committee here in the county. Now, anytime you have an event, half of it's the ride, which we've already covered, half of it's the party after. Joining us is Bud Burning, who is the president of UTV Utah, the club or group that's really been behind this event. So, Bud, what do you think of, uh, is this like the second year this, you guys have hooked up with Tooele? It is. This is our second annual event. Um, it's awesome. These guys, Tooele County, if people don't know it, but Tooele County has hundreds if not thousands of miles of trails for OHV. So it's it's really, it's kind of overlooked because you have the, you know, we also have the Paiute Trail and a lot of these others, but Tooele County has so many trails and they have beautiful trails all the way up in the pines, all the way out to the desert. So we'd love to come out here and play. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. Uh, last year we kind of had like a double-edged party because we were celebrating with Tooele County and we were celebrating a road victory. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, it was a uh, it, it was a good uh, good event last year. We we had just passed the street legal law, opening up the uh, roads to OHVs, and so we were really excited. We threw that event as a kind of a celebration and to kind of introduce Tooele County because now you can come over from Salt Lake County, right over here gas up and hit the trails right from your right from your house in Salt Lake County so it's pretty cool yeah quite a few of the people did that today I would imagine they did yes tell us just a little bit about UTV Utah and how it got started so UTV Utah started off with just a just a group of, of guys that had side-by-sides that we'd go out to the dunes every weekend or go up in the mountains and we wanted a way to kind of post the post the events and so it started off as a group of about a dozen people and then more people more and more people started joining and then a lot of people said, hey, you know what, you guys got a big group, but we need help with this, we need help with that. And so we've kind of evolved into more than just uh, an off-road group. We, we uh, help with keeping trails open and opening new trails and all kinds of stuff. So you've become kind of like a, a, the opposite of environmental group, an activist group for uh, trail access? We are, yep. We're an activist for trail access. So ATVs, motorcycles, OHVs, we fight to keep trails open. Excellent. So once again, you can find out about group events and planned rides with UTV Utah at their webpage, utvutah.com. Now, while we're on the subject of web pages, I have got some very secret insider, or should I say outsider, information for you. We are bringing back the At Your Leisure Outsiders Club, but this is a high-tech version. So this is a place where you'll be able to go to find out all the details on every single one of our destination adventure. Each trip we take on AYL will have an interactive real-time video of the entire route that we took. It will work in conjunction with an overlaid map that shows the route. Drag the cursor to any point on that video and that part of the trail will appear. You will be able to preview the entire trail to see if it's the right adventure for you and your family and your friends. You'll also find links to AYL approved places to get fuel, food, supplies, and sleep on your adventure. Now all the things that our fans ask us about when we're out on the road, they'll be right there on that page. And we will also share information with you about great deals and sales and special promotions from some of our sponsors, some of the things we learn about. So it's a great way to get that insider, outsider information. You'll start seeing this appear on our website as soon as next week will be covering the adventures that you see going from there forward. It's a great opportunity, so join the AYL Outsiders Club, AYLTV.com forward slash Outsiders. All that talk about all this activity makes me hungry for this part, the food. Well, right now it's time for us to go to our trailhead adventure. We're off to join Reese Stein, who is discovering a wetlands trail. I promise you his feet are dry, but the trail is fun. It's called the Eccles. Let's find out about it. Howdy. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, on the shores of the Great Salt Lake at the new Eccles Wildlife Center. And if you're looking for a place close to town, but a million miles from civilization, this is the spot.
the neat thing about this place is that it's so close to our urban areas. The pristine wetlands of the Eccles Wildlife Education Center looks to be in the middle of nowhere, but it's no more than five minutes off Interstate 15 just west of Lagoon. Its 300 acres sits right next to the 18,000 acre Farmington Bay Bird Refuge, a huge area on the east shore of the Great Salt Lake that is, well, mainly for the birds. So we have waterfowl, lots of ducks, shorebirds, avocets, black-necked stilts, and we'll have a variety of songbirds, but the majority of birds will be shorebirds that will be um, in spring migration and fall migration fattening up. So they use us as a stopover. So as they continue north to breed and then on the reverse migration and heading south to, uh, um, uh, for the winter. Wildlife Division Director Mike Folks and Spence Eccles cut the ribbon, opening the new three-building education center that includes a classroom, auditorium, and exhibit hall. Several nature trails lead from the center into the surrounding wetlands. At specially designed camouflage blinds, you might see white pelicans feeding on the ponds, cormorants on the prowl, turkey vultures soaring high above, red-winged blackbirds down below, or in the spring, large families of Canada geese. We raise a lot of geese here, so we'll, we'll have hundreds of thousands of geese. Local birder Billy Fenimore is the new center director. He points to the centerpiece of the preserve. So we have a rookery that we set up that's an artificial nesting area. So we have great blue herons that use it and they build their stick nest on it. And they'll raise about two to three young and we have about maybe a platform that will hold about 15 uh, nest sites and the great blue herons will use it also as a roost when nesting season's over so they can stay up off the ground in a safe area so predators can't get to them. Special guests at the opening include a huge female bald eagle from Hogle Zoo and a cute little screech owl from the Ogden Nature Center. Bird watching is reputed to be the nation's fastest growing outdoor activity and devoted birders flock to the grand opening of the Eccles Center. This is part of our we do a Wednesday bird walk every Wednesday, and this is part of our Wednesday bird walks is to come down here and see all these birds that come into the shores here and that are in the wetlands. And great place, great place. Reese Dine at your leisure at the Eccles Wildlife Education Center at Farmington Bay. crisp. The sun is shining. The snow is deep. Living in Utah, we all know that the weather changes quickly. Don't miss one weekend of winter riding without a new Polaris snowmobile from Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. It's the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Right now, get financing as low as 3.99% for 36 months and a $2,000 rebate on all 2018 snowmobiles and a 3.99% for 48 months and a $400 rebate on select timber sled kits. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele has Utah's largest selection of recreational vehicles, including a huge selection of Polaris snowmobiles. Stedman's.net. You know, there's still a lot of beautiful fall camping, but you think to yourself, it's the end of the season, I don't want to buy a motorhome now. But what about the clearance prices? Well, what if we could make a deal with you right now at Red City RV where you could buy the dream motorhome or trailer of your choice and not have any payments to make till 2019? You can with the buy now, pay later plan. You pick the RV, all of them apply. Ray City RV, Utah's low price leader since 1946. The Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance is here. Get the year's biggest deals on the world's best-selling off-road lineup. Chase Adventure on a legendary sportsman. Get more done with a hard-working Ranger. Or attack the off-road with a high-performance Razor. Now's the time to buy with rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're out here with UTV Utah in Tooele County for a fundraiser for their trail committee, which supports all kinds of trails around the county. And anytime we go to an event like this with a big club, we obviously have one problem. Everybody's got a sticker. Everybody wants to win. So it really becomes a choice of eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's going to be the lucky winner? 
and like a spin the bottle, we'll just see who kind of comes down. I think maybe, come on. We want to pick this one right here. So if you have a Polaris with a license number that says X77HE and you've got an AYL sticker on your Arctic tank, you are our winner. And you are going to win a clearly tough windshield, which is worth like 500 bucks for your rig. Okay, congratulations to the winner. You gotta call us, 801-947-8888 and get on the phone Monday and let us know as soon as you can. Congratulations. Now, we have a lot of finished business to get to. Calendar of events is next. We will be having an AYL Halloween Hunt contest. It starts September 15th to October 15th, and you will get a chance to win a dinner with the casting crew of AYL, as well as a spot on the AYL Halloween episode. <laughs> Be sure to check Facebook and Instagram for the challenges you must complete to win. And then you will be a part of the Halloween episode at the Corn Bellies Maze. You want to make sure to submit your videos with the hashtag AYL Halloween Hunt. Be sure to complete as many activities as you can before October 15th in order to win. The dinner and the filming will be Monday, October 22nd. Oh, it's a worm. Dinner will be more delicious than the worm. <laughs> Next week on At Your Leisure, we're going to go to where the bad guys hung out as we are on the trail of Butch Cassidy and his gang in southern Utah. Then Zach Cipriano takes a wild and wacky look at traveling in Hawaii, turtles and all. You have to be present to win? Oh, you don't? Raymond Dixon. Raymond Dixon. He's, he's also my biggest fan, so that'll be really interesting. All right, thanks everybody. Well, that's all the time we have for the show, but the event's still going on. We've got live music from Carver Lewis. So just remember, around every bend, you will find what adventure. But you got to get out and create your own adventure. And your leisure. Rock on, guys. She was sitting on my car, don't stop the party. Sitting on my car, don't stop the party. Oh, oh, oh. It ain't like me to get all crossed up and lay down with someone, with someone with me. But you're a different story. Right, right here. There you, go. you got what it takes.